Niger has loaded its first crude oil shipment at Bene Seme port, according to sources and shipping data. After the completion of the $5 billion US dollars Niger Bene pipeline project, this development puts the landlocked African country into the League of Oil Exporting African Nations, barely a year after a military coup. S&P Global Commodities at Sea reported that the front cascade, a sustainable tanker with a capacity of 1 million barrels, was positioned just outside the semi terminal, ready to dock at 133, 1,333 Greenwich Mean Time GMT. So you see, just one year after the coup, imagine that Niger has achieved a whole lot. Niger is doing, t carrying out a whole lot of developmental projects. We can see that Niger is doing extremely well. It's the same, it's the same for countries like Burkina Faso. It's the same for countries like Mali. So you see, this wouldn't have been possible under the supervision or the control of the colonial master under the rulership of Bazoum. That is to show you that the earlier African countries, the remaining African countries, start doing away with their colonial master and start having total control of their countries. That is the day when that reasonable development will start kicking off in Africa. That is the day that Africa will start doing well. That is the way that Africa will start prospering. That is the way that Africa will start flourishing. Because this development we are seeing in Niger, we are seeing in Mali, we are seeing in Burkina Faso, it wouldn't have been possible under the supervision and control of the colonial master. Niger, Junta, you are doing well. We am happy for the people of Niger. They have been through a lot. So this development that is, is happening in Niger now is a welcome development for Niger as a country and every Nigerian. Yes, it is high time the remaining African countries start looking at what is happening in these countries and start thinking far beyond the box that they can do more, they can achieve more if only they can do away with their colonial masters which is not going to be a moi moi case which is not going to be that easy it's going to take a lot but a journey of a thousand miles starts with a full step the earlier the better we are in 21st centuries we have some African countries cannot be controlled and be continue to be exploited by these colonial masters or neo-colonial masters. Enough is enough.